Hey, first thing you might notice is that Will and I aren't together. We did that in an effort to eliminate some awkwardness, but uh, we're just gonna just gonna jump into it. Um, basically, God has been showing me, pretty much asking me the question for the past couple weeks: Do you are you doing this because of you want to see more of me, or because you want your life situation to improve? And that's been pretty huge. And um, honestly, it's been kind of a battle going back and forth because. There's things in my life that I definitely want, but at the same time, I'm seeing who God really is, and uh, there's a, a, a conflict between spirit and flesh going on, and obviously, my end result has been, God, I want you more, and just the promises that he's been giving me, Will and I have been amazing, and when I look in the mirror, I don't see myself being there yet, and that's kind of discouraging. Uh, that feeling is not unbiblical. That's actually um, a good sign that we're actually going in a forward direction with the Lord and he's taken us into good in deeper places and into his heart which is uh, assuring to me and Philippians 3 9 through 21 has just been hugely encouraging to know that um, Paul who wrote 75 percent of the New Testament was in the same exact position is it just makes it, it makes me feel better basically and um, so I'm not at the end result yet, but I, Will and I, we, we talked about this before the blog. We both are just keep, we're just pressing on, and um, we're just waiting on the Lord, and I've been learning a lot. There's really only one thing you can do when you're waiting on the Lord, and that's hang out with Him. And if you look back in Genesis 1 and 2, I believe that that is exactly what He wants us to do, is put us in whatever life situation or position that we need to be in just to hang out with Him, whether that is whether we make the choice to do that or whether that is against our will. Um, and I'm, I'm slowly seeing that I'm starting to love God more and more and more because of who He is and not because of my life situation. I'm not saying that my life situation is crappy right now. It's definitely not. It's pretty awesome. Um, but whenever He brings you out into these desert places, um, you really start to find out who you are and what God is doing with you. And um, one cool thing that has just been a huge promise for Will and I is during this internship is um, out of Daniel 3, 12 through 30, pretty much talking about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But, um, they went in the fire. Um, they, they just stood up for what their God was doing for them. And that's where Will and I are at. We believe that we're just in the middle of it all, and God is right there with us. And um, we're about to enter into our fifth week. Um, I can say that we're both pretty excited about it, and uh, we're pretty stoked to see what God's going to continue to do. And I hope you didn't think this blog was too emo, but that's just where we're at. Love you. Bye. Hey, guys. What's going on? It's Will. Uh, just wanted to share with you guys some of the stuff that I've been kind of working through uh, these past couple of weeks. First off, uh, let's look at Matthew 7, 1, which was that thing we just looked at. Uh, Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Um, that's something that I read uh, at the Boiler Room this past week. And it really kind of struck home. God's really been convicting me a lot of pride lately. Um, and because of that pride, there's a lot of like self-doubt and self like dislike basically because I end up judging myself uh, by the same way that I judge others um, and it's really becoming something that kind of permeates a lot of different parts of my life um, God basically told me this weekend that this is something that we need to work on before we move forward so if I could ask one thing of you this week it would be to um, keep me in your prayers uh, about dealing with pride and that God would just open my eyes and, and take that away from me and really walk me through it because I don't even know where to start, honestly. Um, it's, you know, it's unfortunate um, because I do have that much pride. But, you know, Philippians 1.6 or 6.1, not sure. The one that says that um, God will follow through uh, God, he that began a good work in you will follow it through to the day of its completion in Christ Jesus. So, 
Um, still, you know, still going to do this whole thing. I'm not going to just stop and give up and toss my hands up in the air. But if you guys could please pray for me for that, I would definitely appreciate it. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. You guys have a good day. Talk to you soon. Bye.